let me start building a case uh, uh, box for this MPPT charger and look what I found in between my stuffs I'm gonna use this piece of aluminium it was a case uh, a DVD a portable DVD writer some years ago And for beginning, I'm going to have a print of the board with all these holes and everything necessary. And I think I'm going to plant it like this, exactly at the bottom of the case. That should be perfect. And here on the top, I'm going to have a piece of metal with all the inputs and outputs with uh, something like this you know the the metal uh, plate or the metal top will let these things in the air or not in the air but not covered anyway so i can i can have a, a nice and easy access or maybe i can go down here with some metal parts okay i'll see later about that but anyway let me start with posing this into the case and uh, prepare the holes so uh, it's always a good idea to have this kind of print instead of doing uh, you know holes or cutting anything and i already have some holes here but that doesn't really matter because don't interfere with that i was thinking instead of having a metal something here to use the other half of this box this box used to be a dvd recorder i have a perfect match here it's whole aluminium i can close this up here for better cooling but what i need to do is to have the right dimensions okay let's consider this uh, in this position here and I need the case somewhere around here because I need access I need access to the terminals so I have to cut a little bit I have to cut like um, let me see oh god no batteries one and a half yes one and a half centimeters maybe I should go a little bit higher anyway so i have to cut one and a half centimeters from here okay so let's put this down yeah 1.7 So this need to be cut it down. Okay, and there is another little problem. If we consider the original here. So let's think that is like six and a half centimeters 65 millimeters from here to here we have two millimeters and that means so in reality this one is four centimeters so four 
let's say 40 millimeters turns to 65 then 20 turns to x the x it will be 65 times 20 divided by 40 okay let's see 0.2 millimeters and 33 here we go up here it's very simple this one should go in this position here maybe a little bit like that so this will be the air intake uh, the air intake for the fan here i have the commands the point is that no that's okay i have to find i have to find where to put the display and we're gonna try to have something like this okay so this one is for the display something like this okay and here this is very important we need to take a hold for having the commands out so it will be on this line and up to this and there it is my Tommy the cat Tommy smile to the camera hello okay so this will be the holes for the ribbon cable for this one to go out here okay so we got this in place like this that's for the display so we have the right dimensions here 7.1 7.1 okay and so I think this will be the holes for the display so this should go out this should go out this should go out and of course this need to be cut it down okay let's do the mambo jumbo people it's a pretty rainy day today so I'll start with cutting this part down here of course don't forget about gloves don't forget about goggles I have my uh, spectacles and that's good enough okay. that should be okay for now of course needs a little bit of uh, here, you know, make it nice. Let's see if we, if we fit the project. Oh yes, I'm gonna have a piece of aluminium up here, and down here we have the connectors. That's okay. It's time for drilling. Now we have a lot of a lot of job to do. 0.5 I think and these are for the, for the board okay this need to be a little bit adjusted Better. 
nice. Okay, so this is the first step. Now we have to clean all the holes. So-called fans. That's a German name. Okay, so we do that with a bigger tree like this. And I have all the ones that needs to be cleaned. So here we're gonna have the transistors. Let's get to part two. And that means to start having all these holes around here. And here is a lot of work. Let me try this drill. So you don't need to push this, just let the gravity to do the job and there we are. Pretty okay, isn't that? I'll keep this for later use. This can be used like a, a heat sink for transistors. I'm always keeping all the aluminium parts for later use. Okay, so that will be the display, four holes all around. Now, let me see what I can do for the fan. Maybe I cut like this. I think this is I'll have more than 100 years old, but still working great. It's looking pretty okay. This is absolutely fine. What I have to do now is maybe I should give a try. No, it's enough. That's enough. This should go like this because the, the screws should be under the control board. So this needs to be covered. More than okay. The fan will be up here. Beautiful. Of course I have to put something nice to cover this. What else? The holes are okay. Yes, what else? So, the connector will be down here. Now, I have to find a way to put these two parts together. Up here it will be also a piece of aluminium. And how should I put this together? In a very simple way. I'm gonna have a hole in here and another one in here with screws. Is it enough place? Yes, it is. We are good to go. Now, this is done and we are ready to put the things in the case. Oh.